Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. I bet you'll never guess where I am today. This is quite an unusual spot to start a video. But today, here I am at this farmland. I'm gonna visit a couple more lines today. So, let me tell you where I am. I am actually... Whoa. Is this pressure plate on the water? I think it is. But I am actually here at Higashi Rika Resort Station. So I'm here because I'm here to continue checking out the rest of the line. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I took the Cupid line down here and I took a look at stuff here, but I never checked out the whole area. So Akivin is really excited for me to check out this area and I would also like to see for myself. Looks like there's a light rail line here, 2001, the Rika LRT. So maybe we can keep going southbound on the Cupid line. Looks like there's a train coming in 16 seconds so I better make that. Okay, let's get to, yeah, platform 2. And it's, I can hear the train, so perfect timing. All right. So I am recording today is actually a Wednesday. Quite a weird day for me to record because usually I record on weekends on like Saturday morning or Friday night. But the reason I'm doing this today is because I am going to be out of town this weekend. I'm going to be flying to California to see my old college roommate and he's in California right now so I'm gonna be going there we're gonna go to Six Flags if you don't know Six Flags is an amusement park in America with lots of scary roller coasters which I might not go on <laughs> we'll see my wife really likes roller coasters so we'll see if she makes me go on any of them we're also gonna take a trip to San Francisco. Hopefully there's good Chinese food there. I've heard good things about it. I've actually been to San Francisco myself too, but a few, um, quite a few years ago. So I don't remember too much about that. We're going to like an aquarium, stuff like that. It'll be lots of fun. So I'm really excited about that. The only thing I'm not excited for is to wake up early for the flight tomorrow. We'll probably have to leave the house at like 4.30 in the morning. So, yeah, I'm not going to get enough sleep tonight. So, we're pulling into the next station, which is something village. Waiwan Village. Nice. Looks like there's a side exit on there. Exit C exits right out to the desert there. Cool, and then A and B will be down in the concourse area. Oh, we're pulling into the last station and there's a red light. And at this red light, it's a perfect time to tell everyone that this world is not available for download unfortunately, but it is a server that everyone can join. So even though I said this in the last video, I still got comments about people asking. So yes, you can join the server. Just head on over to Discord. If you join the Discord server, there will be instructions on how to join the server. Wow, this station is beautiful. And if you want to host a server yourself, check out Shockbyte. Shockbyte is an easy to use server hosting service that you can sign up for and it supports many features of the mod such as the online system map. If you sign up with the code MTRMOD, then you can get 25% off your first month. So it looks like there's another line here at the station, but I think it's closed off to the public. Maybe it's still work in progress. Future line P2, and they're using, oh, the train's gone, but it was a calf train, but retextured. So actually looking back at the system map, the Mount Birch line 
goes to Rikashi, but it also stopped at Higashi Rika Resort. So that's where we started. But I'm not sure if the line is running right now. So there are different branches. This one goes from Kokorojima to the resort. It's like a shuttle service. But the main one goes from Alpha Islands to Shirakawa Mountain. Yeah, so this side goes to Alpha Islands and Shirakawa Mountain. Yep. Alright, so we're here. This is the main station. There's an MTR Quest checkpoint here. And let's go check out the light rail. Since that's what I'm kind of here for as well. There's a bus terminus here. Nice. Is that another station? I thought that's where we came from. But wow, look at these buildings. This is like a whole city in here. This is really impressive for sure. Wow, I did not expect to see this. Akivan has really improved on his builds compared to what was on Sandtown. So this is regional trains where we came from, the Cupid line, right? Yeah, and then it, it looks like this other side... Is this just a siding for now? I think this is just a siding. So I thought this was another train station, but it's not. It's just another siding, but wow. This looks really impressive. And it looks cool in the nighttime as well because of all the shadows and stuff. Alright, so back to the main station. I see an M train here as well. So maybe they're using. Akiven is using mixed fleet for that line. So let's follow the signs to the light rail. Well, C32. That's a lot of exits. C31. Oh, wow. There's a sign for me that says I can take the LRT, which is work in progress. Nice. <laughs> and I shall do that. So there's two sides to Kana Island and Yongchun South Village. Please remember to tap your card before interchanging. Mm, okay. I'll just go to this side, I guess. Since the lift door was open. Oh nice, this train's coming real soon in 15 seconds. It looks like there's a 2002 line as well, but maybe they're the same color so it only showed up once on the system map. And we're using C trains here, which is an interesting choice for light rail. And I guess this is closed to the public right now because it's still work in progress. But for the sake of the video, I think Akivin is letting me film it. Oh, was that a custom door animation? We'll have to see again the next stop. Alright, so I can't really see out the train, the front on, on C trains just because the windows are smaller. So I'm gonna look out through F5 mode and enjoy the city here. This is really well built. Alright, we're at the next station. What is this station? New Town, right? It looks like the M train bouncy door animation. Oh no, it looks like the light rail one actually. <laughs> Interesting. It just looks really funny on a C train. Because I think C trains use electric motor doors. Whereas the other lines, or the older trains, use like pneumatic doors, which means they use compressed air to move the doors. Look at this custom rail. I think it's a custom OBJ model imported into the game through resource packs, and you can get a different type of rail, and it matches really well with the stone bridge. 
Even though the color is a little different, I think in real life it's kind of like that too. So what is this station? Riverside View. Views? Can't really see it. Yeah, Riverside Views. Nice. This is a really peaceful ride as well. And the different track types really make it enjoyable. And I think Akivan did the smooth slope for the tracks. I don't know, I can't really tell. But anyway, good use of the NTE mod and importing your own custom models. I think there's been other people using custom OBJs like Tea Powder. I think she's been using custom models for the tracks as well, so this is the last stop. So maybe we can check those out later after we explore this area. Okay, we'll go back onto the other side and then we'll see where we can go. Oh. So maybe we can go to West Coast Kana Island. Yeah. So I'm back on the train and we're just passing, what is the station? Rikashi, so that's the main station where we can interchange to the regional services. And if we keep going, we'll go the other way. And we're gonna cut through the heart of the city here. So this is the bridge I saw earlier while I was taking a look at the sidings here. This, an, this is a really tight turn, but good thing we're using mini trains here. So I just love the look of the train cutting through these buildings. It looks very urban. Almost reminds me of city skylines, where you can just <laughs> build the train bridges all through your city and cutting through different tall buildings and stuff like that. I'm really excited about city skylines too, by the way. I just saw, oh, S43. I just saw some pictures on the internet a couple days ago. I guess that's when Paradox Interactive released the, or told us the release date along with some screenshots. And those look super realistic. I'm really excited to try it out. But unfortunately, the game's not cheap. Like they announced that it'll come out in October. And I think they also announced that it'll be $50. So, if you enjoy playing this mod and you want to support me a little bit, you you are welcome to buy me a license for City Skylines 2. But, I'm just kidding. If you want to support the mod, you can do so on Patreon. This will help me out with the development of the mod and release new features sooner. I'm working on a more stable 1.20 release. I know that 1.20.1 has just been released like a day ago, but I haven't really had that much time to to see like to port over the mod. I am also guessing that 1.20.1 uses the same code as 1.20. So theoretically, you can just plug in the mod and it'll work. I think I went into the turn back because I wasn't paying attention. So that was the last stop on the light rail. And now we're gonna head backwards. Maybe I can just get off the train and take a look around here. This is Kana Island. But I don't think there's too much to look at here. S43 is also... Oh, where's S43? Yeah. S43 has been taking the train with me. But I don't know if there's too much to see here. So the light rail does branch off to South Village. That's what I saw at Rikashi. It makes sense here now. So this is where it branches off. Oh, actually, is that a local connection with the Mount Birch Line? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, let's see what's out here anyway. What does this say? Asumi Kana? I don't know what that means, unfortunately. And this looks like it's supposed to be a slideshow image, but there's no URL in there right now. 
and there's a road here. <laughs> I don't know where the main train line is. I guess that one is work in progress anyway, so maybe it's somewhere underneath or not. All right. Anyway, okay, we are back in Rikashi, back to the regional trains. I like how that floor is just named Passageway. <laughs> But it makes sense, that's what it is. Oh, no entry record found. I must have exited and didn't re-enter. Okay, back to regional trains. This is like the work in progress barrier. Oh, this is not even a barrier, you can just jump right through. But I guess you don't want people to know that. Okay. Let's see where we can go now. So I guess we could take the Cupid line. Oh, no jumping over the glass fence. But I guess, can you jump over here? No, there's barriers. All right. So we could take the Cupid line back. This is a terminating platform. And this goes all the way through the resort, all the way back where we came from last time to the Danielston area, looks like. Alright, so now I've made my way to here, Red Cherry Station. So this is the Los Sands line. And I'm not going this way to Verdant Leaf Mound. This side interchanges with the Hanakoshi line. And this side goes to Bakmite, which interchanges with the Snow Troll line, the pink one. So, I just got on a K train. It's kind of rare to see people using default trains from the mod these days. Usually it's like custom trains or retextured trains. So, it's kind of interesting to see that on here still. Not a bad thing. It's not one is better than the other, but it's just people's preference, I guess. Using custom trains, you can make it a bit more artistic, a bit more stylized, but using default trains is fine too. So this line is really short, actually, the Los Sands line. But what I wanted to see was the Snowtro line, because it's been extended on both sides since I've last checked it out, which was a long time ago. So I think we're also getting there pretty soon. So Lost Cham is the last station. So we're gonna get off here. I think it's the last station. Oh no. S sorry, not this one. So this line is short, but there are four stations on it. And we started at Red Cherry and we're going to Back Mike Station to change to the Snow Troll line. So while we're on the train still, let's take a look at the system map. So we're here this actually changes to the wanton line. And then down here, I think all of these stations are kind of new to me. So we'll go southbound towards Dai Village Island. Hong Choi, Royal Road, Cherry Island, Lower Forest, and Dai Village Island. Alright, just getting off here. <laughs> and. Oh, let's go! There's a train! If you don't know what this station is modeled after, it should be kind of obvious. And this is also the reason why it's named Bak Mike as well. Oh, wait, this is a terminating train. Oh wait, no! It is the train I should have gotten on. No! Now I have to wait a whole minute. I thought that was terminating. I shouldn't have gotten off. Yeah, if you didn't know, this is modeled after North Point Station. They have passenger information display systems in the middle of the hallway so that when you're running for the train on the other side, you can see how long when the next train is coming. So in the middle, there are some stairs, escalators, and lifts. I think this layout is pretty accurate to the North Point the actual North Point station. And there are two levels. Both levels have cross-platform interchanges, 
like this. This side goes to Suzumeda, which is the other side. And then some exits up here as well. I don't know how much this station is work in progress, but yeah, there's nothing up here yet. So right now you can interchange, but you can't exit. So this whole area, I think, is part of Stronger's area. So Stronger has been working on that. And a lot of people... Oh, there's a train. A lot of people in Hong Kong are having exams. It's like exam season pretty soon. Or DSE season, I don't know. But add oil to everyone who's taking exams and hope you do well. They should be over soon, I think. But that's why there hasn't been too much development in Minecraft. Oh, it looks like actually this line is not even completed on this side. But on the system map, it didn't say work in progress, so I thought it was good. So maybe we'll just go to like one or two stations on here and wait for it to be completed, I guess. Alright, so we've arrived at Hong Choi Station. Wow, we ended up in the middle platform. So if you know, the real Choi Hong Station has three platforms. Technically four, because the middle track is split between platforms one and two. And... Hmm, this is marked as a terminating platform. Interesting. Did we not get on a train to Dai Village Island then? Maybe we got a train terminating at Hong Choi. Now there's like no no arrivals. I'm kind of confused at the setup of this. <laughs> Was that train gonna go to Dai Village Island or not? Oh look, up here there's the actual rainbow. So Hong Choi is backwards of Choi Hong and Choi Hong in Chinese means rainbow. So that's why it's all colorful like this. It looks really nice up here in the real real station on the platform down here there's also like different colors up on top but i guess it's hard to do in minecraft because you have to fit like five colors in one block so okay i won't check out this section because i guess it's work in progress so i'm back in enchanted parkway this is a really old station that i built in a very very early video and as you can see here the cable car is supposed to keep going but it's showing blank on the map i've also changed to these <laughs> crystal plus cable cars so it's extra scary so i hope you're not scared but yeah before there used to be a station called Yang at the other side but I don't know what happened, like why is it not showing up on the map? So I'm gonna go check it out right now. Actually, the whole of Ida's line on the system map is not visible at all, so I wonder what he was doing. Hmm, wow, this whole area got cleared. Why though? This, there used to be a whole mountain here. And that's the tracks. What's going on? Why did this get removed? I'm quite concerned. Like the station is supposed to be here. Hmm. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on with that line. Maybe it was intentionally taken down. But I'm not going to make any speculations right now. So I'm back at my resort. I wanted to show you some new train that's been added with the NTE mod. So that's bundled with the NTE mod. I know in one of my other videos, I showcased the different features of the tracks in the NTE mod. But I also mentioned that there was a train bundled with it. But I've never showed it. So I guess now is a good time to do that. So I'm going to need quite... A long section of rail just so that we can get a good look at it I don't know if this is even long enough 
Let's make it longer, like here. And it's bundled with the NTE mod, meaning that it natively uses the OBJ model format. So I'm gonna call it OBJ, I guess. So let's see if I can even find it here. Oh wow, Yutong, that's the bus probably. Tianjin Metro, British Rail, there's a lot of trains in here. That's for sure. Sound Transit, okay. <laughs> that's Eric's repaint. S43 LRT, San Francisco, Guangzhou, AT Metro, EMU, wow, there's a ton of stuff here. What's this MLR BR Suburban EMU style? Oh, nice. Okay. Let's keep scrolling. Oh, Shanghai Metro. Wow, I didn't even know these were in the resource pack. Hong Kong Peak Tram, yeah, we've seen that before. <laughs> the cat train is in here too. Yep, I've seen screenshots of this, but never actually seen it in game. Hey, so here it is. It's called the JNR Class D51 Steam Locomotive. So this one, I believe, is bundled with the NTE mod. I think. But why is it just a locomotive? I thought there would be, like, actual cars to it. Okay, so if I actually search D51, this is probably what's by default included in the NTE mod, and then the rest of these are probably player made, right? So this is a Wilds Railway train with the locomotive. So you have to select... I think these are... Wait a minute. Are these auto-generated? No, they can't be. <laughs> Plus R train. Interesting. So people have just been combining the models. Tong Chong Line. <laughs> it looks kind of odd, but it works, I guess. So what other ones can we use? Overground K train. I'm looking for some KCR spacing train. Our, wow, New York subway with a locomotive. Have you seen that before? I haven't. This is still not a KCR door spacing though. Whoa, this looks really nice. Who made this? Okay, so I think this Beijing train was included with the mod. So I'm gonna stick with this one right now. So the reason why I'm showing this is because I want to make a drivable route somewhere where we where people can just drive this and play with this. But I also want to make it kind of private so that people won't just run in there all the time and mess up the line. So it needs to be kind of unaccessible but also available to the public. So, oh, I know what I'll do. Wait, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I have never tried putting a drivable train. What does this say? Oh, this was very old. Anyway, I was saying I have never tried putting 
a drivable train in the same place as like a a siding that has repeat and in, infinitely turned on so like for example this grand circular line the trains are set to repeat instructions forever so I wonder how that would work because once you leave a manual train it just stays on the track forever it doesn't go away so I wonder how that's gonna work with like the spawn grand circular for example because I think it'll be fun to put put one of these in like a drivable train in here just for fun so So this one is spawn line CW. So let me expand that. And this is our new siding. I want, what's WR209? I want something that, as I said before, like a KCR door spacing. Okay, I'll just stick with this Beijing subway one for now. Apparently it doesn't take up the whole length. So what I need to do here is reduce this by 1, so 23, oops. And this one, set drivable. 10 seconds drivable timeout. Let's make that 30 seconds. That's fine. All right. So let's go. Why is it not going? Does it need to generate? I forgot how to use my own mod. Okay. Successful. Oh, I think it reset all the all the MLRs here, which is fine, I guess. Did it? Are there trains on the line right now? Oh no, what was it before? I forgot the number. Was it 24? I guess it was 24, right? Well, it's this one. This one's 24. And this one's clockwise. We'll just leave it at 24. That's fine. Hopefully it won't jam up. Okay, let's see the door spacing. Yeah, the door spacing is different, but oh well, <laughs> can't really help that. This is an OBJ model, I believe. So let's get this train going. Look at that. Nice. I'm driving a steam train. Why did a... Why did the train slow down, by the way? I don't know. I'm having it on full throttle right now. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Wee steam engine going straight up, flying through the station. I think actually right now what the train is doing is it's going through the whole line and starting at spawn. Since the depot faces green, it needs to go all the way around the whole system to get back to spawn to start the route. So that's what the train is doing right now. I don't think any steam train in the world can go 300. So this is pretty impressive. <laughs> and I don't know if the steam locomotive is actually mountable. Like you can actually get on it. I feel like it's just for decorative purposes. Look at these clouds of smoke. It's like huge chunks. It's not like Minecrafty smoke at all. But yeah, I feel like... I feel like the front car is just for decoration. Like you can't actually ride it. That's why you need passenger trains coupled behind it. So that you can actually get on the train. And this is only a two car. Two car bunch. And I noticed there's also a car number on the side as well. 
Well, I can't see it right now because it's kind of dark in the tunnel. But when we exit, you should be able to see it. Okay, so we just passed a bunch of those underground stations. So you can see on the side, it says Beijing 3021 and Beijing 3022. So I think that's like the fleet number or something. Oh, actually, the reason why we can't get to the other car is probably because there's no gangway. But... Oh, the train's slowing down now. We're approaching spawn. So I feel like if I got out of the train... Oh, signaling issues. So if we got out of the train and went into the front car, maybe we can get a ride in the locomotive section. Yeah, we actually can. And we can walk in, in here as well. Nice. <laughs> but that looks kind of odd, though. There's already two Alexes driving the train here. So... Oh! The next two trains are right behind, so I better not jam up the system. Why are these doors closed already? Hmm, why are the doors not opening? It's just a visual thing, I feel like. Alright, let's go. We're gonna jam up the system. So we went actually the whole way around the whole circle. And now we're going back around. The next station is green. Interchange for the Pengalu and the Bateau a Grande Vitesse. Are we stuck? Stuck behind somebody, I guess. Anyway, the reason why I'm showing you this is just to show you the capabilities of the NTE mod and the train that is included in it. I kind of want to remove this track right here so it doesn't look like a roller coaster. I just want to make it invisible. That looked pretty cool, especially up here in the sky. So. Yeah, I don't know what's with the door animation here. Is it just pre-coded to just close back after a certain amount of time? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take this train a few more stations and then let it go on its own. Because I don't want the whole line to be jammed up too much. I have no idea where the train in front of us is at. Next station, Changchang. This looks really cool though. Good job to Nemo to implementing this. I think Nemo imported this model from BVE or something, or some some other creator, but with permission. So I don't actually know where this train comes from. I'm gonna skip these stops. But really well done with the NTE mod and optimizing it so there's like no lag at all. Look at my frame rate with these complex models. The only thing that's dropping the frame rate is the existing trains which is rendered with another method. So really impressive. I know I said this last time but I'm really impressed. So hopefully by just skipping the stops I can Eliminate some a little bit of lag. So the next station is the one with the cable cars. Tun Chao, right? I think these ones have do these have the crystal cabin? Yeah, this is the same line, of course. Okay, maybe I'll get off here. Maybe I can grab a screenshot here. I don't know. 
Oh, while I was taking a screenshot, the train just drove off by itself. <laughs> so here is it. Here it is now, entering Enchanted Parkway. This looks really amazing. Let's see how long this overruns. Oh yeah, and there's this train conductor too. It's pretty cute. And I think, I think the animation, yeah, it's all predefined. So there's a specific dwell time that these trains are supposed to have, so that the animation of the train conductor can look natural. So, that's a design choice by Nemo. Which, oh, this, this line color changed again. This line keeps changing colors. But yeah, that's a design choice by Nemo. I wonder if there's like a hidden car here because this door does open too. Hmm. I don't know why. Where's the where's the conductor? Does does the conductor not come out from this side? Okay. Anyway, let's head back to spawn because that's a good place to end the video. So I should probably switch it to automatic mode before I get there so that it won't back up the trains because I made the cooldown 30 seconds so I should probably not hold the driver's key the whole time. It's pretty easy to just accidentally hold it and just end up jamming the whole line behind it because I forgot that I was doing that. Okay, so remember that if you want to try this out, it's in the NTE mod. So if you take the spawn grand circular the clockwise direction, hopefully you can get a chance to grab the train. If not, you can just stand and <laughs> keep waiting until you can catch it. But anyway, thanks thanks everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Shockbite as well so that you can get a server to play with yourself and your friends. Alright. There's like so many trains backed up here because I was <laughs> I was holding them all up I guess but eventually it will clear out. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.